Today is Saturday, November 7th, 2015, and this is the Bunny Slippers of Evil Job Seekers Call-In Show, presented by Evil Bunny Consulting. I'm your host, Tyrone Griffin, and if it's 3 p.m. and you have on your bunny slippers, you are not looking for a job. Welcome, first-time and returning listeners. In this show, we discuss strategies and tactics of job search, staying motivated, dealing with career transition. For more tips, resources, daily motivations, and to listen to archive shows, go to the website, bunnyslippersofevil.com. There you will also find links to our Facebook page, our Twitter handle, and our YouTube channel. If you are listening live, you can call in with your questions at 347-202-0929. Again, that number is 347-202-0929. And now a word from our sponsors. Evil Bunny Consulting is the alternative to expensive vowel placement. They give company-sponsored job seeker workshops as well as the one-on-one job seeker boot camp. For more information, go to www.bunnyslippersrevo.com. Resume Edit is a low-cost, high-quality resume writing company with resumes as low as $35, written by certified resume writers. You can see them. You can find them online at www.resume4edit.com or call 404-860-2473. Be sure to tell them you heard about them on the Bunny Slippers Arrivo Job Seekers Podcast. Let 3DResumes.net turn your resume into a web page with a customized domain for 12 months for only $30. Help hiring managers and recruiters find you, make your resume available 24-7, and get a professional, personalized email address just for your job search. You can see my online resume at TyroneGriffin.com, and for more information on how to get your own, go to 3DResumes.net. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you're thinking or about to look for a job in today's market, you will find a new reality in the job search process. The world has changed. So job search today is much more complicated than five years ago. Volumes of resumes, more applicant screening systems, the personalized applications, panel interviews, team hiring, long complicated applications, branding and social media. Yes, the world has changed. But if you, wow, are you still trying today? Are you still trying yesterday's tactics for today's show? My computer just cut off, so I apologize, people, for uh, not remembering to have the rest of my script written down. Anyway, the bottom line is. Go to careeroyster.com. You can get a free 45-minute uh, personalized session career assessment with their head coach, Howard Caddy. Their website is www.careeroyster.com. Excuse me. And remember their motto, the world is your oyster, be the pearl. Wow, my computer just rebooted on me. Don't know what that's all about. But anyway, welcome. Yeah, I have my notes, so I'm good. <clears throat> welcome, everybody. Um, for another week, uh, for the new newcomers, first timers, the first week of every month we do job search Q and A. So, uh, where we just take any questions that people can call in. To if you have a question, call in three four seven two zero two zero nine two nine, or you can um, hit me on Facebook or Twitter uh, during the week. Or if you see me in person, you ask me a question, and I try to answer them while we're here. So that's uh, what Job Search Q&A is about. Now, let me back up and talk about next week's show, because next week, we've been talking about it for a little while, and I'm going to keep, I told you when I first came up with it, that we're going to talk about it and talk about it and talk about it till that day. Next week, Saturday, November 14th, 2015, at 10 a.m. Eastern Time, we'll be hosting Job Search Speed Dating. What's that? Everybody understands how the process of speed dating works, where you get a bunch of people, <clears throat> excuse me, here's the thing about speed dating, and I know the show isn't about speed dating, but I'm going to explain how speed dating works and why it works so that you can understand what, what I'm trying to do here next week. You have a whole lot of people, men, women, who are looking for other men, women, whatever, and it's hard to find people. Everybody who's single can attest, it is hard to find that right person. So what speed dating does is it puts a whole lot of these people together and it connects them. Random people just connect them. You may make a, a love connection, you may not. But it just it's the, the mechanism that puts the people together. So what we're doing next week is job search speed dating. Now, no, we're not going out and trying to help you get a, make, uh, find your next true love. That is not the intent. What we are doing is you'll get to call up. Any job seekers out there, if you're a job seeker, if you are not a job seeker, you just want to practice your elevator speech. Your elevator speech is that 30 second speech where you tell, uh, if you have 30 seconds in an elevator with a CEO and you give your pitch, 
people who are in fundraising, they know all about that. So um, people who are trying to fund startups and things like that, they know all about uh, speed dating or, or, or the elevator speech. So you get 30 seconds to give your elevator speech to tell who you are, where you are, or where you're looking, uh, what you're looking for, what type of job you're looking for, and how a hiring manager can reach you. Now, at the same time I'm reaching out to job seekers, I am also actively reaching out to hiring managers. Okay, Come on, listen to the show. I'm not making any promises, but hiring managers and recruiters, this may be an opportunity for you to build your bench strength, to find people you didn't know existed, you know, who are looking for jobs. Okay, you want to, you know, you're just, you're, say you're a, 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 a maybe headhunter is a, is a derogatory term, but you're a recruiter. And you're just trying to build up your, your Rolodex of, of potential uh, employees for people. This would be a great time to come on and just listen. So everybody gets 30 seconds. Unless we don't get many callers, in which case everybody will get more than 30 seconds. Okay, that's how it works. Um, I'm giving I'm, I'm I'm trying to promise everybody 30 seconds, but if we get five people, um, you'll get a little longer. So even if you think nobody else is gonna come on, you should come on because it's a great opportunity for you to have some time to tell about you know who you are and what you are. Yeah, I will give you three, four, or five minutes. I will have a discussion with you if I don't have any other callers on the line. That's just how it's going to work. So I encourage you to call in. The number is 347-202-0929. It's not toll free. I don't know. It might you might get charged for it. You know, I'm not I'm not in that area. So um, I don't know what what your banks are going to charge you. Um, but my point is this. Um, it's an opportunity to come on the air. If you're looking for you're in, in currently for looking uh, for a job, it's a great opportunity to just come on the air. <clears throat> Excuse me. And and maybe who knows, you might somebody might hear somebody who's looking for just who you are. Again, I'm not promising you anything. I'm just trying to, you know, just like speed dating. Nobody promises that you're going to be going home that night with the true love of your life. It's making the opportunity to put people together. I'm not responsible for what you say. Just don't use any foul language. If you misrepresent yourself, then you misrepresent yourself. Okay, I have nothing to do with that. I, I can't, I, there's no way for me to know. Um, but I would encourage you, if you are looking for a job or if you know somebody, who's looking for a job, I encourage you to, to come on. It's free. It's free. It's 30 seconds of your time. Now, how do you prepare for it? In one word, practice. In two or three or four more words, write down the things. Write down, it sounds crazy, but write down what you want to say, who you are, where you are, or where you're looking, what you're looking for, what type of job you're looking for, what... Um, you can get into salary if you want. I think it's the best thing, but talk about what you're looking for, what kind of things you like to do. Talk about you. This is an opportunity for you to tell people who you are. Okay, this is all it is. It's an opportunity for you to tell people who you are. Okay, and so practice it. Practice it, write it all down, because trust me, when, you, when you're put on the spot with your elevator speech, and I've been there, when you're put on the spot, it never goes the way you expect. It never goes the way you expect. Okay, so you want to practice it. You want it to come out naturally. So anyway, what I'm trying to do for next week is is line up as many people as possible. Okay, um, don't call me ahead of time. You can call five, ten minutes early if you want. Again, the number is 347-202-0929. <clears throat> Excuse me. I say that again, 347 202 0929. The show will be from 10 to 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time next Saturday, November 14th, 2015. I'm going to be pushing it in on the Facebook page. I'll be pushing it through Twitter. I'll be pushing it in LinkedIn. So other than that, no rules. So if you know anybody or if you are somebody who's looking for a job, I encourage you to please 
tune in, um, come on, uh, come on the air and, and, and give your elevator speech. This is just an opportunity I'm hoping for people to get known. And who knows, maybe if one person gets a job off of this, or if one person makes a connection, I feel happy. But again, the caveats, I can't vouch for what people are saying. If you say something on the air and a hiring manager or recruiter reaches out to you and they find out that you've misrepresented yourself, that's on you. Okay, That's totally 143% on you. So anyway, that's that. So let's talk about this week's show. I've taken up enough time with that. But anyway, people, please come on next week. Come on the air. Let's talk. This week's show, again, as I said at the beginning, is the job search Q&A for November 2015. And one question I got, and this one's a good one. Um, so we're going to start today. The, the, the question is, what do you do when you realize that your career has been sidetracked? How do you handle it? How do you... How do you, what do you do? You know, this is not necessarily, I lost my job. This is more, my job lost me. That's the way I put it. You can say it like that. You know, how do you handle it? Um, what do you do? Well, I say like, just like when you lose your job. The first thing you have to do is accept it. It is what it is. Just accept, this is what happened to me. Or this is what's happening to me. See, the, the, the worst thing is when you're, you're in that situation and it's happening to you. And maybe, you know, I've been around the block a few times, a few hundred times. But sometimes when you're new in your career, you think something's not right. You think that maybe um, I'm being shafted, to put it nicely. Um, and there's no exact science to it. There's no nobody that can come along and look at you and say definitively, yes, you're being screwed over, um, and here's why. Um, it's kind of like, you know, why doesn't so-and-so like me? I can't tell you why they don't like you. They just don't. You know, they said they don't. You got to accept it. But um, there is no... Video here. Um, there is no um, definitive answer. But if you find yourself in that situation, remember what I always say your career is yours. You will make mistakes in your career. There will be, there will probably be jobs that you wish you had taken or followed up on that you didn't. There will probably be jobs that you did follow up on that you did accept offers that you will look back on your career and think, I probably shouldn't have taken this job. It's going to happen. Nobody's perfect. When you're young, when you're old, you always think that I'm always going to make the right decisions on everything. It doesn't always happen that way. Um, the reason I say all of this is <clears throat> because, I mean, <clears throat> excuse me, I, said, I think I know somebody in a situation like that where they're in a, a, a situation where uh, the person that asked this question they feel like they're being overlooked. They feel like their career is being uh, stymied. Their career is being put on a back track, a back burner. Um, and like I said, you know, whether, you know, looking at the evidence of what they express to me, what I know, uh, I believe them. So then the question becomes, well, what do you do about it? The simple answer is you got to move. If you've gone to Here's the thing. People will usually tell you the truth. If you have gone to your, your superiors, your managers, and asked about opportunities to move up, and they basically tell you, yeah, there's, you probably want to look outside the department. Uh, you need to believe them. You know, that plain and simple. You, you need to believe them. If they tell you something like that, um, as hard as it, it may seem, be sometimes to believe people sometimes you need to believe them so now what do you do um I did a show a while back called the stealth job search the undercover job search that's what you got to do and I'll, I'll try to bring up some of the things here we, we talked about 
on that show because you want to look for a job but you're not necessarily interested in advertising that you're looking for a job even if your, your managers have told you to move on um, but it's up to you I mean if they they tell you here go look for a job okay go look for a job but if you're looking because you feel you, you see the direction of the department or the company you think that maybe um, this is not gonna this is not gonna be pretty you know there are layoffs coming down the road or whatever um, you want to do the you know what I call the undercover job search and that's it's not as hard as you think to look for a job without letting people know you know as the saying goes when you have a job it's, it's very easy to, to, to find a new job um, and I think part of that has to do with your um, stress levels when you have a job you know you, you kind of have okay I'll be getting paid next week I'm, I'm, I'll be all right when you don't have a job it all comes down to okay I got to find something to pay the bills but when you anyway I'm, I'm, I'm rat holing sorry when you are um so you want to do with the undercover job search. How do you do it? Well, first thing, and I've become a big believer in, 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 in the job search sites, Career Builders, Indeed, Simply Hired, uh, LinkedIn, Monster, uh, Dice, I think is one. I have become a big believer in those sites. Why? Because honestly, I've seen them work for people. I've seen them work for me. I've, I've gotten calls, um, you know, interviews where people saw my resume on one of those sites and reached out to me. I've, I've seen it happen. Okay, so um, that's the first thing is update your information on all those sites. You don't have to tell anybody, you have to tell a soul. But update your information, update your resume. If you, each of those sites, I believe all of them, have, uh, they have um, searches, you can search for jobs, and you can save those searches. Okay, now here's where, again, the, the technology comes in. This is a great thing. You can save the searches and tell them, okay, run this search once a week, once a month, whatever, and email me the responses. So once you've updated your resume, number one, you've, my nose itch, sorry, you've increased your visibility. That's the first thing. And the second thing, so people can find you. So recruiters and hiring managers who are using these sites can find you. And the, the second thing, you're looking for jobs on those sites, but you're able to look for those jobs without actually looking. It's like you have a proxy, you know, um, like, you know, back in the old days, we used to call them a flunky. It's like you have a flunky. They say, OK, go over there and, 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 and do that and then come back and tell me what you find. Okay, that's you know, where you don't have to get up out of your nice, comfy chair. But your flunky goes and does all your searches for you and does all these other things for you, all these things that you need done. That's what those searches are. So the first thing, again, is go to all those sites and update your resume. Put a new resume up there. Um, you don't have to, don't put, you know, seeking employment on the top. You know, just put your resume. Here's, here's me. Um, then, you know, uh, set up your saves. You, you save the search. So to email you want at whatever frequency you want once a day if you want I wouldn't I wouldn't advise it but once a week or whatever it'll run your searches so you have in your inbox your email inbox you'll have a bunch of, of jobs that it finds you know that fit the criteria whatever you you want but the most important thing is just update go to your LinkedIn profile update your profile again I wouldn't necessarily put seeking employment but update your, your profile I mean yeah so what if your boss sees your your, your LinkedIn profile is updated. So what, there's 300, 200, however many million users on LinkedIn? Okay, LinkedIn, LinkedIn is a networking site, period. It's, it's a way for people to put out their information, uh, what they're looking for, not necessarily, just be, it's, it's a way, it's, see LinkedIn is hard to describe for those people who haven't used it, but it's a way of putting a profile of yourself up there, um, just to, uh, and it and it's looked upon very very favorably actually in the business community um, chances are your boss has a LinkedIn profile now you may not necessarily want to link to your bosses or friend your boss and, and you know make a connection with them but chances are your boss has a LinkedIn profile chances are 
your CEO of your company has a LinkedIn profile. You can follow those people. Uh, a company I used to work for, a uh, CEO wrote a great article. Um, CEO of this company was African American, a $50 billion a year company. There's not that many of them, so you can probably figure out who he was. If you look at my profile, you can figure out who he was. But he wrote a great article on uh, this is a man who's head of a you know $50 billion a year organization, and how when he goes um, shopping, he sometimes followed around the store. It was just really, you know, I just remember that was a really deep article. Um, but anyway, uh, so don't 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 think that if somebody sees your LinkedIn profile updated, or if somebody sees that you're on LinkedIn, that they're going to immediately put it together that oh, so and so is looking for a job. There are tons of people on LinkedIn who are not looking for jobs. Okay, so you know don't don't stress about that. Um, but uh, but yeah, so update your LinkedIn profile now. Depending on where you are, down here in the Atlanta area, we have a very strong, vibrant job search community. With I'm thankful for that because it helped me out many times. But everybody doesn't have that. You know, every every um, every locale, every small hamlet and village does not have that. But if you are lucky enough to have that, get involved in it. Go to networking meetings. Again, you don't have to uh, tell anybody. That you're going, will people see you? Yeah, people see you. So that's your 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 intent, your intent is for people to see you. So that's not the worst thing in the world, because you want to be seen. You know, it's you know, job search is like dating people. I'll tell you over and over, it's very much like dating. So, um, but go and, and 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 just go and listen. You'll learn. It's not just about networking at these events. It's also about learning about different job search techniques about different search techniques. I remember I learned one of the best search techniques I've learned was how uh, Google, you can set up Google even to, to do save searches for you. Yeah, think about that, the power of Google uh, on your side. Or, yeah, they're still Google, but they're under Alphabet now. Um, but you can set Google up to look for jobs for you. I mean, I learned that in, in, in a workshop I went to. You know, so there are things you can learn at some of these workshops. Um, and the thing about going to networking events, more than likely, the people who you see there who are out of work, you will find somebody who's working at a company that you are trying to get into. Where you say, well, why would I want to go there? They're doing layoffs. Even back in 2007 2008 when we were losing 800,000 jobs a month companies were hiring companies are always hiring even when there's a job freeze companies are hiring trust me just because a company laid off somebody in one area does not necessarily mean that they won't hire you in another area because they have a different need so don't get discouraged by that Go meet with these people and hang out with them. And, well, not hang out with them, but just meet people and you'll be able to network with people. And you can network yourself into an organization um, through somebody who's not there anymore. It, it is very possible and pretty easy to do because they know all the people, you know. So so anyway, um, I apologize. I had some computer issues this week. I had a couple of rat holes. Um, we got about, what, about six minutes left. So, um, but... That's how you would, you know, again, with your career, there is no, um, there is no perfect roadmap. There are people who've had careers that have been very successful and chances are, no matter who they are, there have been times in their career where things were not going the way they expected. That's just the reality of it. Okay. People have those times when things are just not going the way they expect. But just like a relationship, you'll find out a relationship is not working. You decide in your mind this is not working. You accept that this is not working. Once you accept that, okay, as I always say, what are you going to do about it? You know, that's a simple question. What are you going to do about it? It's not, <clears throat> excuse me, you're here in a situation now, but what are you going to do? You find yourself in a situation where, for whatever reason you feel like you're being passed on and you 
uh, talk to your managers about opportunities and they basically tell you that, yeah, uh, you probably need to look somewhere else. There's no opportunities here. Uh, don't rock the boat. You can sit back, but just like with in a, in a regular relationship, if you find yourself with a partner who you don't feel this relationship is going anywhere, then you need to decide what you're going to do. Okay, you need to make that decision and you move on if, if, that, if, that, if need be. But don't worry too much about making a mistake. Here's the thing about decisions. My, my, my 30 second philosophy on decision making. Nobody makes bad decisions, nobody. People make decisions, be it old people, young people, whatever, they make decisions with the best information they have at that time, period. Whatever information they have at that time, that's what they use to make a decision. If it doesn't work out the way they want, it's not because they made a bad decision. It's because either they had bad information or they had uh, an expectation of things and it didn't work out that way. And maybe that expectation is due to the bad information uh, they had. So don't worry too much about that. Do, what's, do what you feel is best for you. Uh, I will say never stay in a situation, be it a job or dating. A situation where you feel belittled, ignored, uh, or undermined. It. Don't stay. If your partner, um, boss, or whoever is not valuing you, uh, and, it's, and you decide it's time to move on, then move on. Because the longer you stay, and I can tell you from experience, you'll get in a situation where it's not a good fit. And you won't leave because you're afraid to leave for whatever reason. And it only gets worse. And you, you're afraid of what's out there. That what's out there is worse than what's, than what's in here. And it may well be. But it's like if you're in a frying pan, you jump out. You say, I don't want to jump out the frying pan because it might be fire out there. Yeah, it might be fire. But it's hot in here. I know that for a fact. It's hot in here. So... Um, if I stay here, I'm going to get burned slowly. You know, if I jump out, I might get burned a lot faster or I might not get burned at all. That's my wisdom for the week. Uh, anyway, everybody, um, apologize for the, for the, for the, for the rat holes and computer issues and things like that. <clears throat> um, thank you as always for everybody that's listening. If you are listening on the website, feel Please feel free to subscribe in iTunes and Bundy Slippers of Evil Job Seekers Podcast. Uh, and if you do find it and you want to subscribe, please leave feedback because that helps other people find the show as well as I appreciate your, your, your thoughts and, and words, whether they're kind or not. I appreciate them all. Anybody that takes the time to leave me a comment, I appreciate it. Um, if you have a suggestion for a topic for um, the podcast or for uh, One Minute Bunny Tips, and yeah, well, I mean, we'll go there. But yeah, I'm going to get back to them. If you have a, a, a suggestion, send me an email at tyrone at bunnyslippersofevil.com or hit our Facebook page or on my Twitter stream. Uh, when you land, please don't forget us. Please support this show by visiting our Cafe Press store and buying a t-shirt, a water bottle, a coffee mug, a clock, or a sweatshirt. Uh, it will give you something to remember from your time in transition because I don't want you to forget this time. Because the moment you do is, you set yourself, is when you set yourself up to be right back here again. So with the last minute, I'm just going to remind everybody again. I know I ran a 10-minute infomercial at the beginning of the show, but I'm going to say it one more time. Next week, November 14th, 2015 at 10 a.m. Eastern Time, we'll be doing our, <clears throat> excuse me, our job search speed dating show. If you have an elevator speech, if you're looking for a job, if you know somebody that's looking for a job, please have them call into the show. Uh, I'll put it on LinkedIn. It'll be on the show's Facebook page. You can get information, but the number is 347-202-0929. If you're a hiring manager, recruiter who's looking for people, this would be a great time to, to, to do some recruiting for free. Okay. If you're a job seeker, just come on. Tell me about who you are, what you're looking for, and how to reach you. Those are the simple, three simple things. Who you are, what you're looking for, and how to reach you. You want to talk about your background and you can fit it in 30 seconds, please feel free. But who you are, what where you, what you're looking for, and how we can reach you. If you want to set up a new email address or you don't, because you don't want your old email address, use fine. Do that. Okay, do that this week. But next Saturday, I hope to see you all then. So with that, I'm going to end this show. As always, people, thank you so much for your, for your patience and your time. Hope I help somebody. Have a great week, and we will talk to you soon. Peace.